Hey everyone, I'm here for more of this war of mine. Day 13, so about two weeks in, we're doing pretty well. Let's see what we rolled for the morning. Did we get raided? We did not get raided this time. So that's really strong. Uh, Pavel's happy. Traded the doctor, it wasn't the best deal, but the hospital serves the whole community. And then Kaya's supposed to be happy. Yeah, she's real happy, so he used to welcome everyone. So, Bruno, make our food. Get two foods. No, 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 no. You make one. You, yeah, you make, you do that. Kaya goes sleep. And Pavel goes sleep. And Bruno, go ahead and have yourself a snack here. And go see what we can upgrade. Or produce. See what we can build. I think we're still low on raw materials. If I remember from our wrap up last time. Yeah, we can go ahead and get a heater built, but otherwise we're kinda of just low on low on stuff. So let's get this heater built right now. Yeah, sure, make that the utility room, why not? So that takes That'll keep us um, warm once it starts to get cold. Yeah, Bruno, I know I haven't slept there sleeping. I could make another bed for you. It's like, it's expensive, though. So, no. <laughs> Just the raw materials are real, real prized right now. Uh, use some more water. We use the ballark components on this heater, though. Yeah, it's heaters. The components are real valuable. We're not finding lots of components. See if we can get any components on tonight's trip. We might be able to go. Do we have enough sugar? No sugar. We have lots of cans of food. Uh, how many cigarettes do we have? A uh, decent handful of cigarettes. Might go trading. See if we can go trade at like the brothel or something. Go, go make cigarettes. It's warm-ish for now. And we might build, I guess we have lots of canned food we can also spare. If we want to get a couple cans of food, we can send Katya out with canned food. Maybe one or two of those herbal medications, lots of cigarettes, the alcohol. Maybe get some trading done. Also, I want to go scavenge. Katya can also scavenge while she's that. We have lots of cigarettes to do. I don't want to send her out with too much, because then she has, you know, she can only carry so much in her pack. It's also all of our components. Oh, or Katya can just talk to this guy. I have some stuff to exchange. Uh, Bruno will take a break and open the door. I'm not sure if he leaves, we never open the door. But I want to be safe. Howdy. Let's make a deal. What do you have? He has some food. Medication. Those are quality cigarettes. Like some quality cigarettes. Bandages would be great. They're going to be very expensive, though. And maybe some bullets. Uh, Kaya is going to be the person you need to speak with, though. And she's currently taking a nap, so I'm gonna go bank more cigarettes for you to buy. And so wait for our everyone else to uh, perk up. After the little, the little nappy poo. It's dangerous outside. You can come inside and like wait in the foyer. I didn't. I didn't say you couldn't do that. Bob will have nothing for you to do really. Go listen to the radio. I had to do the same as Pavel. Oh, donate to the hospital. Cigarettes and tobacco are used to procure its currency. What will happen if they run out completely? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright. Bruno, interrupt that to go make Pavel a meal. And then once you're done with the cigarettes, Kaya can trade this guy. Bruno, go to sleep. All right, so far so good. We're not going to freeze to death. When it starts to get colder, right now we're still okay, but I'm glad we have the heater ahead of time. I haven't got all day. I'm just going to sit here and stare at you until these cigarettes magically teleport up here. And last cigarette. And Paul can go eat after that. Good job, Pavel. Let's see what we can get off this guy. Are we going to trade or what? 
Interesting one exchange, very common. Interesting, nothing special. Exactly what I need. He loves medicine. And he <laughs> doesn't want to give us bandages. I want those bandages for like safety reasons for our future. Give him the offer the alcohol. Keep the books on hand in case anybody wants to read. Give him one of the cans of food. Very generous. Alright, we can get away with one bandages. Wow, he's productive of these components. That's the way of only cigarettes for. This offer is just so impressive. I know, it's very impressive. We should stack up some food. It won't do try harder, really. Really? Yeah, I can I'll throw a can of food in there. There we go. Because we get more out of the raw food cooking it than we do the canned food. Um, that seems is that one more cigarette. Balanced out. Do the trade. Probably need to run. We're sleeping. Uh, got ya. We have more stuff to trade. That's some qual- oh, the regular cigarettes. Not quality, but regular. Trade all four of those for something. Because I'm sorry, Bruno, if you're gonna smoke, you have to smoke the, the herbal cigarettes. So we can get two for one. Oh, we can get over almost two for one components for cigarettes. Which it takes a component to make a cigarette anyway. So I'm not sure that's actually a particularly good deal. Uh, sugar... With more sugar and water, we can make more alcohol. Pop, we'll go, go mix up some more cigarettes. Oh, how much time do we have? It's 2.50, and 8 o'clock is when it ends. 8 o'clock is when the day ends. So like 4 hours with a cigarette should be fine. That's another 16 cigarettes we can use to trade. Um, let's see what we need to... Upgrade the herbal workshop. I can't check. Let me see what we need. This probably just more raw materials. That's a lot more food. We got some bandages. Our medication's fine. We have some bullets. More bullets would be great. Components, lumber, parts, even. So parts would be good too. And he, I know he has parts. I'm um, actually can you craft a water filter and get some water going for the day, Katya. Thank you very much. It means we need even more components. This means we don't have to go out to trade. I don't think you get the best prices trading with the door-to-door -door guy. I would assume, just based on generic video game expectations, that the guy coming to your door has like a convenience charge. You can get more going to specific merchants with specific things to trade to get more value out of that. As opposed to the door-to-door -door salesman guy. But I do like the idea of being able to tr trade with the stuff we have at the house during the day, and then at night go scavenge. So we earn stuff during the day and the night. It's a constant income and constant exchange. It seems like it's more, more efficient use of our time if less efficient, if less efficient on materials. I'm not sure if that's the right strategy, but I mean that it seems like a strategy to me. We're gonna have a good, a good nappy poo. Once they start getting cold, we can start throwing wood in the, the burner. Fuel in the oven. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be anything right now. I'm making cigarettes for you. Uh, Bruno's, Bruno's a happy guy. He's probably gonna go smoke one of our cigarettes that we're working so hard on. At least we got cigarettes. God, Bruno, you're, <laughs> you're just garbage. Good thing they're really cheap. So him stealing cigarettes isn't that big of a deal. Oh, what, oh wait, hold on. What do we need for upgrading? No, guy, don't walk away from that man. We need to upgrade this. Because we can make even better cigarettes. We need the mixer, so components, wood, and like parts to upgrade the other bench. Or to make a. We don't need to upgrade the other bench. So components and wood mostly. We have so many cigarettes. Uh, the rest of your components. Some of your wood. All the sugar. And we need parts. He's not as willing to part, part, part with parts. 
Uh, he does like herbal medication. We probably get a lot of them from herbal meds. Anything else we have? Not really. I do also want some bolts. A couple bolts would be great. Fine, we can have a deal. Throw a bolt in there? No. One water. Take out some of this wood, get an extra part. I think that's all we're gonna get out of them for now. Oh, we got one we got one more water. Good for us. Deal. That's a lot of our cigarettes out. Uh we have a few more. Let's trade like two. Can we get a bullet for that? He won't trade us. What about three? Three cigarettes for one bullet. Doesn't seem very efficient. Um, we have canned food we can give them. We have enough sugar for alcohol, but not enough water. I think we're pretty much done with this guy. Goodbye. Pavel, can we make more... No, we need more medication for homegrown tobacco. Do we need more time for more cigarettes? I think we're done for today. Otherwise, it's a good day. Um, say goodbye to this man. You need to go home. It's getting late. See you later. End the day. Anywhere worth scavenging again? Looks like we're running out of scavenge locations, and we need to either start stealing or start trading hard. So maybe that was the last time we used Mr. Door to Door Man. They have plenty of goods and are eager to trade, but also dangerous. But we do need parts, so we need materials. Is there anywhere that still has material? Plenty, lots of materials. Huge amounts of weapons. Huge amounts of weapons. A lot of weapons everywhere. Huge amounts of weapons. Huge amounts of parts, food, and materials. No, there's not. There's not a lot, is there? Lots of food. Oh, we have that saw. Yeah, there's still some place in the shelled school. There's still some stuff in the shelled school we can get. And there's probably some tools. I haven't seen some tools before. Huge amounts of weapons. Someone moved in there so I knew he was willing to barter. Maybe that's something useful to us. We haven't been to we haven't done a lot in the ho in the hotel. So we should go hotel or shelled school or even brothel. Uh doesn't can't have that much in it. Right, we're about to just clean that place out. Let's go hotel. So, Pavel scavenges. You two on guard duty. Prepare. I don't think we need to bring anything. Go scavenge. This should be one of the last times we send Pavel out because it looks like we have to really start being industrious. Oh, this area. I already stole everything from this area. Went to the wrong place. Definitely went to the wrong place. Are they going to remember me? Do they know I stole stuff? Because if so, we're in big trouble. Hi, right, are you mad at me? Hi, buddy. Hey, stranger, one trade? Someone stole our food, so we really need some food. Oh, he can, can you see me? No, no, he, he, he can see that. Just don't, don't even... Don't even... That requires a lockpick. We did not bring our lockpick. And of course, I'm now I need to steal from here. I can't waste a day. As bad as I feel about it. Forgot this place we just kinda recently stole from. Stealing's gonna make them mad, but I can't come home empty handed. It's gonna be this too much of a this is too much. Once he leaves we can go in here and grab this stuff. It doesn't even really matter what we get, we just have to get something. Is he just hanging out here? So I'd like him to not be hanging out here. I guess we open the door. Oh, it's locked. Whoosh. Never mind. Wait, is this one locked too? I thought one of them was locked. No, it's not locked, but we already cleaned out that pile of rubbish. All right, if he doesn't move, he can steal this stuff. Private property, I don't care. 
can't come home, can't come back empty-handed. That's gonna be just too, that's just too dangerous for us. Well, we already stole their important stuff. This is, uh, this can't be things they're that worried about. They're just leaving them lying around, right? Just we're gonna keep justifying our crimes, and rationalizing it. It's a common tactic people do to avoid guilt. How do I steal from... If she's, like, right there. She's not sleeping. How do I steal from there? We absolutely can't go back empty-handed. We're doing well, but, but you know, a slip-up like that could cost us. Just coming back without anything. Is this anything worth grabbing? No. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually pretty easy to get water. You set up a rainwater collector, and then you just use components for a filter, and you get plenty of water. So I don't know what that guy's talking about. Alright, uh, this is really cleaning this place out. Should have went somewhere new. At least there have been lots of piles of garbage to sift through that we haven't that we haven't looked at yet. All right, take all this stuff, and then we leave. Does he shoot me through the bars? No, he does not. He does not care through. Oh, there we go. That's some. Those are some components. All right, I'm leaving. I'm grabbing this stuff though. But then I'm leaving. I promise. Hey, that's not too bad. I've seen worse deals. I think that's pretty much everything we can have that doesn't involve straight up stealing from this area. Do you have anything worth trading to this guy? Probably not. Unless you can trade the quality rope for something. No, no, don't drop. Oh, I don't know. Oh, good thing he goes right on the ground. Hit the drop button instead of the exit button. Grab that all back. Uh, fertilizer we can use to grow food once we get one of those up, or a build a trap. Does she see me if I grab this, or is she supposed to be sleeping? Oh, hello. Oh, well, uh, hi. Oh, uh, good morning. G guten Tag. Hello to you too. Yeah, go get some air. You should go go outside and get some air. I check this spot out. <laughs> med ingredients? There's, eh, I mean, it's more valuable than cigarettes. We can't do anything with med, med ingredients right now. We need to upgrade our stuff still to get that. Very, very quiet. Very careful. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, we hit the jackpot. This is all his stuff from the shop. We can just take what we want. All right, we gotta. I know the cats are real excited about this. Okay, all right, all right. This is too exciting. I mean, we're already stealing, so I might as well just double down on being a, a robber here. I feel. I feel like we're we're being bandits. We might as well be all the way bandits. Uh, what do we What do we bail on? We don't need books or broken toys. Just stack those cigarettes back in there. Put away three weapon parts. Two parts, we definitely need parts and components and wood. But things of high value that we can't get easily, we should take. Like their medicine. And all their canned food, and their bandages. And their herbal, okay, no, no, we have to, don't take all their food, don't take their, just, just leave it, just leave it alone. If, are we going to bandito these guys? Entirely. We're doing okay on food. It'll save us so hard. But I could be killing them. Do I want to just roleplay game-wise? Gaming. If we're just pure game-wise, I just want to take all their stuff. But if we're trying to, like, roleplay this, then I should back off on taking all their stuff. Because they will not make it if I do that. But I don't need the one fertilizer or even the three tobacco. Shouldn't take the water. They're complaining about lack of water. We can take their quality. You can't get out of here with these quality. You don't need cigarettes. I'm saving your life. Take some of their, their trading goods here. That's a lot of tobacco. Because we can produce our own materials from that tobacco. Let's take their sugar. 
They don't need the sugar. We'll leave them food and medication. Take their bullets. Because I know they're violent people and I don't like them having bullets. A stack of fuel, because I know I've been using a lot for cooking and now we have the heater to worry about in the future. And more components. This isn't super efficient versus just stealing their medicine. You can take one can of food. Or I can just take six real cigarettes. That gives us a lot of, uh, it gives us some extra trading power. Or coffee to make Kaya happy. Six more sugar doesn't actually get us a new alcohol production going on. Let's put the sugar back. Grab even more components. And I have one more slot. Uh, I mean, we're going to be mad because we're stealing anyway, aren't we? Which, in which case, I'll just steal the most valuable stuff, and then we're set. We're, like, really set. I'm torn. I'm torn morally. Do I rob these people blind, or do I just be a... You know what, let's see, let's see if we can beat the game being not terrible people. I'm stealing some of their trash. I don't think that's a problem. That brought them the... Our, uh... Characters are probably going to be, you know, have something to say about that. Take some of their trading goods as well. But now, no one saw that. And we just bail right out. They don't even know. Close that up. I didn't realize this is entire store's stock. So in times of dire need, however, we need, if we need really need to steal some stuff. They're not mad at us. They don't know we did that. We know how to do it now. Uh, we just took some of their junk, but if we... You know, end up in a dire situation where it is us or them. We can come, take the food, take the medicine, and that'll be our way to recover. I bet everyone's still mad though that we stole it all. I bet you, I bet she's gonna be like, Bio, how how could we have possibly done that to our fellow man? It's just, I'm so upset. You know, they'll cry in their diary, and it'll be sad, and they'll be slow and sluggish, because oh man, we stole like eight components. They're gonna survive fine because they didn't take the medicine or food. They can keep that until maybe we need it later. Oh, that's so good. And he's sad because he stole. Guy is not sad though. It's surprisingly. I'm actually really surprised she didn't get sad off that. Or he didn't. Uh, yeah, she didn't get sad off that. Bruno doesn't care. And we didn't take the. You know, we didn't take the uh, really big stuff. We didn't take their medicine. We didn't take their food. So they're 100 percent okay as far as I as far as I'm concerned. And this gives us so much more trading power. Which we can use, they have plenty left. Pavel, you're such a baby. <laughs> Katya gets it, that's why Katya's not sad. She gets it, like, oh, you just took some of their junk. And Bruno, I mean, he wouldn't care anyway. Bruno's kind of a callous guy. I thought I still, oh, I did not take the water filter, so I have to make the water filter. Do we have enough water? We have to make the water filter. Maybe we should take one of the water filters. We're taking both water filters. We still have to use the components I took to make a water filter anyway. And now it's just... Does the water filter cost three? So two water filters would have been worth six components versus one stack of four components. So that wasn't that wasn't too smart of me, was it? Well, we are lucky it's not cold in here, but if it does get cold. We have a a, a heater I made. So Bruno, I don't want to hear it. Is that really the second day already? I feel good. I feel like we can do a third night. So it'll be a slightly longer episode this time. But I feel like we can do a third night. Just because I'm, I'm like into this. <laughs> I'm into this right now. I don't want to stop. Because I already started the day. And if I quit, I lose all that progress. Ooh, who are you? Oh, he's going to want something. What? I brought something for you. Free things? I like treats. I've come to thank you. See, we're still good people. I don't know you, but my father told me you'd help pull him out from the class building and shared some bandages. If not for you, he'd be dead. I don't know how to thank you. I haven't got much. Please take these earrings. They belong to my mother. Yes. Thanks again. I won't forgive you. Don't refuse gifts. It's it's ungrateful. I mean, in a lot of cultures, that's I mean that's the norm. But don't if you accept the gift, unless you're in some culture where like you know it's expected for you to refuse a gift at least twice or whatever. Um, yeah, don't. It's annoying when you're trying to give, be be nice and give someone stuff, and they just don't. They just won't do it. Sills moonshine into pure, high quality alcohol. And that requires one thermometer, which requires 
which requires electric components, which is required for heat lamps or mixers. Can we upgrade our bench? Okay, so only the only thing we can build is the alcohol production. Because I don't think we can upgrade this guy either. Nope. So we need more electric components are actually now suddenly a, a desire. So, thermometer? A reinforced door. Or we can just get a reinforced door. That's great security. We have two weapons. We have weapons. We have two people on guard all the time. And we can just trade once we get everything manufactured. We can trade for those components again. So let's send Katya out to the brothel tonight and do some do some trading. Enough sleeping. Hey, he's not. He slept it off. Good job, Pavel. Nothing like a good sleep. All right, Katya, get started on this alcohol bonus alcohol production. The distiller only takes an hour. Put it next to the all the other the chemistry lab. Pavel, get started on like that. Bruno, cook a meal first. I don't think we have enough water. We have enough water, never mind. We also have enough... Once we get more water, we can make more alcohol at once. Should go see if we can make any more... Uh, no, go to, go to sleep or no. Pavel, go see if we can make any more components. So once that component's built, we can get more water. We have this whole... This whole uh, production line going. I make one at a time. We don't need to do more than one at a time right now. Alright, Kaya, go have a snack. Pavel, we're up here. Produce more water. Kaya, get started on some cigarette production. Pavel, alcohol production. Uh, do we have six hours? I, I doubt we have six hours. We have like five hours. All right, that gives us lots of trade. What does it take to get moonshine into pure alcohol? A water filter. So there's a water filter, some fuel, and the alcohol itself. Not that big of a deal. We can handle it. Might be a little light on trading. I think we'd take the herbal medications, one of the canned foods. If I even want to take the canned food, because we don't, it's like our backup medication right now. There's lots of cigarettes, a cup, an herbal medication, and the alcohol. Even though I'd rather distill the alcohol again, I don't want to go empty handed. That's two alcohol. If we get two alcohols, this still be good to trade. Moonshine. I'd rather be trading pure alcohol, of course. But I don't want to send Katya out with only a handful of cigarettes for trading. But if it's to the brothel, actually we can do that for the brothel because we haven't been to the brothel yet. It's probably piles of junk. We can at least get some junk uh, trash out of. Due to shortages, prices of cigarettes and tobacco have become exceedingly high. How can they be calm knowing how much they must pay for them? So that's perfect for us because they're making twenty. Not very high quality cigarettes. We also need more electronic components. How much does it take to upgrade the heater? Probably makes it more efficient fuel wise. Whenever we need that. Uh, much more efficiently using less fuel. We need a thermometer, parts, we need a lot of, we need a lot of stuff. Pavel just, just wander around, I suppose, while I wait for her, wait for the day to be over. Which will be over when Katya finishes her cigarettes and when Bruno has gotten enough sleep. You just stay next to the alcohol. Okay. Stay next to the still so you can collect the alcohol immediately. You send Katya out on a economic mission? Okay. 
get the alcohol. Get it. Get it. Get it. Beautiful. How much does it take to... How long does it take to even do this? Obviously, we don't have enough time. It takes it only takes an hour. That's not bad at all. How long does it take to make a water filter? One half an hour. Perfect timing. Have that... Have that water filter made preemptively. Okay, perfect. And night. It's now night time. Brothel. Katya scavenge at the brothel. There's nothing new. We haven't been to the warehouse yet. It's also trading, right? That's not trading. That's pure danger. Don't do that. Uh, you two both guard. I like having double guard mode. Katya brings some equipment. As for to trade quality cigarettes, they said cigarettes are really expensive right now. Full stack of these guys. Don't need those two. And the jewelry and the alcohol. Hopefully, you don't get robbed. I don't. Think, I think she'll be okay because I don't. I don't believe you can get robbed. You know, in transit. That's almost too much. Like she doesn't have a lot of room to actually trade that in for stuff. We can do it piecemeal though. It is almost too much. It is actually probably too much. I said cigarettes are valuable. We can trade it for like hot other high quality goods though. We'll be okay. If we don't get it, we'll be fine. <laughs> I might have been a little aggressive with taking stuff. Because there's also junk. Surely piles of junk in which we can grab things. Just like this trash right here, right? Yeah, there goes some free trash. I meant to grab all. I right, gotta find our bartering master, our trade master. Where, where's the, the trader? Is she over here? I think it's in Pavel for all this junk. I just want to get this trading going. There you are. I have plenty to trade. Get some food. Get some coffee. Kaya likes coffee. She's going out for this. We can give her some coffee. Another broken shotgun. We, can, we don't need bullets, though. Ammunition. Does that count for shotguns? I can get a second shotgun. Uh, parts doesn't have a lot, honestly. You actually have a disappointing amount of stuff. Grab weapon parts, just to stack up that ability to trade things. Have a second shotgun would be cool. Let's grab the parts while they're here. And bullets. Alright. What can we give you for that? How about some jewelry? Alcohol and some cigarettes. All right, that seems not terrible. Uh, doesn't seem great. That's a lot of weapon parts, though. Probably only weapon parts again after this. Oh, he has food. Let's try to grab this food out of him too. Wait, let's take that one back. Try to crummy ones. Much better. Much more efficient. Oh, it's our backpack now. Uh, it's not great. We got some food. We got some love parts. Got her coffee. She likes coffee. They don't have any components here, though. Goodbye. We'll have to find our own components. Don't, don't, don't speak to me like that. Do I, have to, do I have to shoot you? I don't have a gun. But yeah, I'm not above shooting you. With my fists. Alright, not the... I was hooked. The brothel didn't have the best stuff. We could have made a new gun. Made a... Get a shotgun out of him. I don't... That's not, like, high on my list, though. The extra ammunition, great. Because we have a handgun and a shotgun. I don't feel like we need both. Electric parts are quite valuable to us right now. 
suppose we're just any more components around here or electric components the ability for us to produce more ammunition on our own which we don't have an upgraded bench yet uh, as we already have a full pile of components now hey one more bullet a free bullet uh, let's leave so I got like I said probably overstocked on the trading equipment oh well still got some stuff not what I expected but at least we got a little bit of food to feed us keep that going um, some components some wood send Pava out more scavenging or to a new place to trade We need more sugar, we need more water. We can't take our stuff. We used the five bullets. Hey, we still made two more bullets. We got some parts. We need parts. We got electric part, need electric part. Made us some food. Lots of weapon parts. Not really that super lucrative of a night. I have a dearest friend who always worried a lot. One day she called me terrified. There's a riot outside. Secessionists were inciting the crowd to burn the town hall. I told her not to worry, and I was right. Nothing came of it this time. But when riots and fights became everyday news, I kept assuring her it all blow over soon. Didn't work out, did it, Pop? So at least we got coffee for Kaya. So doesn't freak out anymore. And get some water started. I don't think we have enough for alcohol. Nope. We need to. Yeah, it's raw materials. I think Pop needs to go somewhere dangerous. We have enough to defend. We just don't have enough raw materials to continue to upgrade everything. And to continue to produce. So you need more raw materials to continue to produce. Should trade from raw materials. Trade our produce cigarettes for tobacco. That's a slight, we make a slight profit out of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more fun, Twitch tags, I'll see you next time. Also join Discord, and you're the best.